Hello, I'm Trey and welcome to another of my colouring tutorials. Uh, I decided last year to do a series of tutorials colouring flowers because flowers are quite often in other designs, not just on their own. And um, I like to be able to colour them in quite nicely. So I'm hoping viewers find these uh, tutorials that I will be doing useful. Now the book I'm using is Colouring Beautiful Flowers and it's by At Turus. Um, they, these are what I would call vintage designs and in this book why I use it is because it's also got an example of each design. So even though these are painted it gives me an idea of how I can actually do a flower using pencils. Now this tutorial I'll be doing a saffron crocus. I'm just going to be doing the flowers for the first part. Uh, this is a painted version and I'm not always sure with these versions where the, the um, light source is coming from. It's difficult to work out sometimes. Uh, so I'm going to try my best to work that out as I go along. Now the line art is reasonably good um, when it comes to the actual design. So it will be slightly different but it's reasonably close to. And for this um, project I'm going to be using Castle Art Premium Pencils which are a mid-range uh, student grade I would say pencil. Now uh, obviously my colours won't be exactly the same as the original but I will be trying to get reasonably close uh, with the colours. Now the first, this first tutorial I'm going to be working on this flower and um, I'm going to be working on the petals first. The first thing I'm going to do is, and you won't see this very well on camera, is use white. And the reason I want to use white is I want to lighten up my lightest purple because my lightest purple isn't really light enough for the shading. And I think the light source might be coming a little bit this way from the top. So I'm going to go from that kind of direction. So I'm going to put in some highlights, I'm trying to create a little bit of depth. And like I said, you won't see these white much first, but it just saw so that the pink, the purple I put on top of it is lighter. I'm going to create a, a lighter section there because around these lighter sections it will be darker which will make them stand out and give a little bit of depth to the petals. For this one I'm going to do a lighter section around the edge because I'm thinking of the light source coming kind of from the right top estimation of that and a little bit there because in the middle around here I'm going to make it darker a little bit of shading darker shading so just a little bit of light there and because the light is coming from the right top imagine that it's going to hit the top of the petal but go darker as it bends away So the light will hit this part of the petal and the, a little bit at the top there but as it goes spins away it will go darker. I'll be doing that for all the petals. So light coming this way I'm going to go around the edge. So 
Same with this petal here. Now then, in the example, it has where the light is here, but it also has a little bit of light in the middle. So I'm thinking it's to create a little bit of depth. So I'm just going to put a little bit of highlight there. We'll see how this works out. I quite often change uh, my shading to the original picture because I, I can't work it out. So again, I'm going to go around the edge of this petal now the, the flowers moving away a little bit now so I'm going to put a little bit of light here it's a, almost halfway point of the petal And same on the other side, but I'm not going to put light around this edge because it'll be darker as it's moving away from the light on the right top. Now this petal, it comes up, curls up, so I'm going to ha put the highlight on the top of those curled up sections. And that will give it the impression when I do the darker of it, of it curling up. I'll put a little bit of light near that edge. And a little bit at this section. And that's because I'm thinking the light will come down and hit here. That section there. And also I think the petal has been drawn so it comes up a little bit so it'll help create that effect. With this petal, this section now is in the shade so I won't put light on there, but I will put light here because as the light comes down, it'll be catching this edge of the petal. And a little bit on this side as well because it'll catch the edge of that. And I feel that that will maybe dip down a little bit. So I'm going to extend the light sections just to the end of this petal. Now that's going to be pretty hard to see because it's white. It doesn't really show up. It's already on white paper. However, I wanted to do that because I wanted to ha make that section lighter when I put my lightest purple down. Now I'm just going to do it very lightly and go over those sections. Very light pressure. And a little bit beyond those sections. Of course the lighter uh, will overlap into starting to go into the darker section so I don't mind doing that at this point because I want to go over that white I've just put down.
Now this is a very light colour um, lilac so you pro probably can't see very well at the moment but there is a slight gradient difference between where I put the white and where I didn't put the white and it gives it a slightly different highlight and I wanted that because this lilac wasn't quite light enough but I didn't want to leave a stark white and I use this uh, sometimes I'll use white underneath a colour that I want it to be lighter but not completely white so now I've put down that uh, lightest lilac I'm going to go for a medium purple I'm going to be working from my darkest sections just to darken in where I think my shadow is going to be mostly I'm not going to go over all of this section into the light I'm just going to go so far because I will have to adjust this And where I'm putting the darkest is where it's away from the, the light, so bending away. So where I think it's obviously going to be darker, I will be putting in this medium purple. Now I've put in where I think my darker sections, put this a little bit more in here, um, are going to be coming in. Now I haven't gone right into the lighter sections because I'm going to extend the lighter sections by using the lightest like lilac. Um, it's just, just trying to adjust it at this point and trying to keep in with that light source. Now I put that medium uh, lilac down, I'm going to go back with the lightest lilac I was using and overlap into that medium area just to join them up and give me a better idea where my shading is going to be. I'm, so I'm filling in the gaps a little bit. Where I put the medium lilac purple colour was where I felt it was moving away, bending away from the light. 
Um, so I've joined up my lighter sections, I've overlapped my lighter sections and my darker sections. Now I'm going to use my darkest purple and go into the areas I think will be the very darkest. So all these sections of the pe petals right in the closest to the middle would all be darker. Start with this petal first and just fill in at first where I think it will be darker. Now this line here, because I am going to use the line art a little bit, <clears throat> this line here I'm going to make that slightly lighter, I'm going to leave it slightly lighter. So to highlight that I'm going to go around the edge of that in the darker purple. So I do move away a little bit from the original example and put in some highlights and darker sections where I feel would look interesting. Oh, there's another, because also the line art is, is slightly different from the original picture. So this here is, I'm going to make that lighter. So I'm going to darken in around it. And right away it's made it lighter with the medium purple on there. I'm going to go so far up with the this darker purple to highlight a little bit of that middle of the petal. Kind of makes it makes it look creased inwards. So that's that petal, and I'm going to be doing the same thing for the, all the petals. So trying to keep into the idea of the light source top right and using the line art. So that's the first layers of each of those colours down and I have adjusted it slightly from the original picture because um, it's not drawn exactly the same way, you know, the, the detail in the petals aren't, isn't there. So I will be, you know, I've adjusted that and now I'm going to build up on all of those uh, colours to deepen in the, the shading and the coloured and of the petals and I will keep on adjusting to where I feel it looks better with where the light might be catching. 
And I put three layers down of each of those colours I was using and then I did a, a blend just with a dry cotton bud because I didn't want to lose too much of the lighter sections where the white was underneath the lilac, pale lilac. Then I put another layer down of each of those colours and then I used, um, I did another blend and I used a, a paper stub with just a little bit of baby oil in. And then I started to darken in certain sections that I'd just used a lilac, pale lilac originally. So just to emphasize the areas that are lighter. I went round with a slightly, just a little bit, slightly um, the medium purple instead of just the light. Now in the original uh, painting, the strokes, well, I'm not very good at doing strokes. They've darkened it in with strokes, but that's painted. So I decided just to do more of a gradient effect and just darken it in slightly with a medium pencil. With my medium lilac. Difficult one to blend this one, what to choose, because if I use zest, I would have lost all my shading. And if I use a lot of baby oil, the same effect. So I've tried to maintain as much of my shading as I can so it's not as smooth when it comes to the the blending but that's okay because you know texture in colouring is interesting The other thing I did as well is these sections where I, I left highlighted, I put the medium purple lilac down first, but then I've gone over those with the lightest colour only. It'll still be dark, darker than the other lilac sections, lilac D sections. But not as light. because the, the medium was underneath. I try for, I think, more of a gradient effect with this and I think it's working. It's taking some building up. And where the white was, I'm just going over lightly each time with the lightest lilac because I don't want it dark, just muted.
um, it probably would you could do with a few more layers if you wanted to make it a deeper shade um, but I'm quite happy to have it more delicate looking um, I'm using a dry cotton bud, uh, cotton bud again to blend it out a little bit more Now my blending on this isn't as smooth as normal because of I didn't use so much solution because I didn't want to lose too much of my lighter sections and the, the gradient effect. And I'm happy enough to leave it with a little bit of texture. I mean the original painting had quite a lot of texture. My colouring and the shading is reasonably uh, similar to the original but not exactly the same and I'm just using the original as a, a guideline really because again I, I learned by doing uh, designs from a Thomas Kincaid book that you're not going to get the same effect one I don't uh, necessarily have the skills but two I um this is pencils and not painted it's not going to look the same. However, it does give you a really nice um, guideline for doing shading and highlights. To give a reasonably realistic effect. So that's the petals done. Now I'm quickly going to do this middle bit, middle section. Um, I'm using yellows, orange and a brown. I'm going to do these sections here in like a dark yellow. There won't be much shading in this section because it's quite small. I will put a little bit in to try and give it some depth. I'm going to use the medium orange for a little bit of shading. And also for these thinner sections for the middle. I can't remember what they call these, but I'm doing these in the medium orange. And I'm using a reddish brown for the shading on these longer sticks, stems, whatever they are, coming out of the middle, just to put a bit of shading in 
for the medium orange. Go over those again. I'm doing a slightly heavier pressure for these sections because they're quite slim. And that finishes off the flower. I'm quite happy with how that, how that turned out. Um, I think it looks reasonably realistic. And it's the kind of thing I would try and remember when I'm doing flowers on other projects. Uh, so I do hope that uh, anybody that's viewed this, watched this and viewed this has found this useful. Um, if you have any comments, please do leave them. I'll find them interesting to uh, read and I'll reply the best I can. So bye for now and I'll see you in the near future.